graduated from Baptist Bible College in 1970, and I'm a pastor in Spring Hill, Florida. I graduated in 1988, and I have had the privilege of being at Bethlehem Christian Academy for 25 years. I was the second grade teacher and music director for the first 12 years, and this is my 14th year as the school administrator. Graduated from BBC in 1985. Um, did some actually odd jobs and helped in my local church for a few years. Got married in 88, and in April of 1989, I started a youth pastorate in, Rivers, in Decatur, Illinois, at Riverside Baptist Church. That was 14 years. In 2003, I started at Grace Bible Church in Warrenton, Missouri, and I've been the senior pastor there ever since. I graduated in 1986. I followed that with a year of working construction while I applied to law school because I thought I was going to have to do some uh, additional undergrad work before I could get into law school. I didn't realize that a Bible degree would be adequate. After that year, I spent three years at Harvard Law School. After law school, I did a two-year clerkship with a federal judge in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Then I went into private practice and then went to work for Alliance Defending Freedom. I've been at Alliance Defending Freedom since January 2001, where we work with religious liberty, sanctity of life, and marriage and family. I grew up in uh, the Binghamton area, and uh, uh, I was in the foster care system, and I was in a, uh, an orphanage for five years. And uh, when I was a senior in high school, uh, I was on my own, and Baptist Bible College, they gave me a part-time job as a custodian. They helped put me through my senior year of high school, and then five years at uh, Baptist Bible College, three in Johnson City, New York, and the last two here. So we were part of the second graduating class. And uh, upon graduation, uh, actually it was uh, Jim Huckabee who placed my name uh, to be the pastor of uh, Upper Lyle Baptist Church in Whitney Point. And I was 22 years old. My wife was 19. And... Uh, I, I went there to preach. I figured they'll never call me, but I went there to preach, and uh, they asked me to come back and candidate. I came back the second week and candidated, and we got a unanimous call, 22 to 0. And so I felt that was God's will for my life. And so uh, in July of 1970, uh, I took my first church. I pastored there for three and a half years, pastored in Geneva, New York for 12 years, and uh, now the last 29 years, I've been in Spring Hill, Florida. Over the years, I've told people that I am who I am today because BBC changed my life. I came in as a freshman, a bit insecure, knowing that my high school principal did not think that I was college material. My first few years at BBC were a bit rough, and at one point I considered leaving BBC and starting over at another college to finish my degree. But it was about that time that the Lord used people, professors, and students here at BBC that saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. They believed in me. I began being put in leadership roles here at BBC, which gave me a passion to impact others for Christ. I learned how to take a stand, how to stay strong, and live God's principles no matter what the circumstances were. I learned how to persevere and wait on God's timing. It took five years for me to get my degree. I learned that... God not only uses the strong and natural leader, but he also will and can use the weak. I thank the Lord regularly for my experience here at Baptist Bible College. I almost wasn't able to come back my senior year because of financial reasons, but the Lord used someone here at BBC to provide for me to be able to come back. And because God changed my life and used all of my experiences in the six years I was here at BBC to prepare me for all the experiences that I've had in the 25 years since. God used lots of different things, but I think the, the biggest thing for me was relationships. While I was here, it was a really difficult time in the life of my family back home. Um, my parents eventually got a divorce, but while it was going on, I'm here, and this became family for me. 
this became a place that was – when people would actually ask me, you know, things like – I would – just questions concerning home and college. I kind of got them mixed up. And I actually started going, I'm going to go home. And it was kind of like a slip, but I really did mean it. I'd be coming back here, pull up uh, onto Venard Road and get this feeling of I'm going back to a place where I feel very loved. I'm struggling with grades, uh, so much so that John Master calls me in. He's the dean of students. And he, um, he had seen my ACT scores. He had seen my SAT scores. He had seen... Great, you know, B level grades out of high school and things along that line. And he just looks at me and he goes, "I'm looking at this stuff, and and you're a goof off." And it was what I needed to hear. Well, I stayed home one semester, came back, and I always loved basketball. I just felt very comfortable. I wasn't, I never played in high school, but here I was able to play and spend time with the guys and things along that line. But I wanted to play. My grade point average was horrible. And for me to be able to play, Huckabee, Coach Huckabee, Russ Howard, and Freddie Losher had to go to bat for me. And so they went before a board, whoever that board was. I wasn't there, but they represented me. And they made it possible for me to play. And I don't get it. They saw something in me. And I just think it's the grace of God. And these, these men gave that to me. And I look back and I just am so humbled and blessed and honored and even with all the crazy and stupid things that we did at times, they looked at me and they cared about me and that that was huge. The reason that I was hired for the position that I started out with at Alliance Defending Freedom was that our CEO wanted someone who was not going to be thrown off by claims that God made homosexuals the way they are and so that we have to accept it. And number two, someone with good credentials. And he knew that I had a Bible degree and a Harvard Law degree, and he thought that was a good qualification for the job that I have. So knowing how to apply God's word prevents me from being led astray by people who teach false concepts about marriage, family, life, all of those issues. God has uniquely gifted every one of us for what he wants us to accomplish in life. So when I started thinking about law as my vocation of life rather than a traditional vocational ministry, I understood that God had given me gifts that fitted with law and perhaps fitted with law much better than they would have with a pastoral ministry or a missions ministry. The analytical abilities that I have are perfectly suited for law. They would have worked for theology, for those kinds of things, but they are a perfect fit for what I do. The things that I learned at BBC helped me understand that I could fully use the gifts that God gave me and please Him with them. When you come to college, any college, you're a teenage kid and uh, they try to grow you into maturity. Spiritually, you come here as a kid and uh, because of the professors and the students, they, they impact your lives. And uh, so I, I looked at myself as just a kid, but they treated me like I was a young man of God. I'm proud of the school for their sake, and I'm proud to say I'm a graduate of it. I just want to continue to thank the Lord and thank BBC for staying strong, for staying committed to the Lord, and staying committed to train young men and women to serve Him in every area of their life. An award like this is, is it's just encouragement. It's just grace, and it's, it's I think this, um, this place's way of saying, keep going keep pursuing Christ, keep doing this. I'm floored and I'm blessed and that's the grace of God.